Hi everyone, welcome to today's chill pills. Hi everybody. Just launch up, enjoy this lovely tea. Yes, on this very, don't know where it's like uh, where you are, but it's kind of gray. Extra drink today. Mm -hmm. It's a bit gray and kind of rainy today. Yeah, but... rainy, and we're, we're really hoping it's not going to rain Sunday. Oh, Although no. it says 90% chance. Mm -hmm. So it probably So will. if it does rain at the service time, Please still come. We're gonna still have it live, but we'll be in the we'll be in the lobby area. But hopefully it doesn't rain at that time and we can still do so it. We're still so. doing the service live. Yeah. But in the lobby and then everybody's still listening to it in their cars, right? Yeah. If it's raining. If it's raining. If it's not, we'll be out there. Right. Yeah, which I enjoy. And I really actually enjoy this with the yeah. other cars and, and boop, 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 boop. I know it's funny. And we've yeah. decided to with the chill pills to just like after this week we'll just do them on thursdays instead of tuesdays yeah. and thursdays because andy's decided for over these next few weeks we'll add it into yeah, the, to service the service too as well well we have the sermon and then we just talk really yeah. briefly about some practical application right to the message and hope you enjoy uh, that yeah for a few minutes we chat <laughs> yeah, but no tea outside. No, we can't have tea outside. <laughs> it has, has it'd to be, be freezing water. by the time we're drinking it. So, yeah. and you know, British aren't into iced tea. It has to be hot tea. Yeah, iced teas. Although I've, we've got onto iced tea. I do, but you have to drink that differently. I love yeah. a straw. I like it un unsweetened tea. though. I don't like the sweet iced tea. No, me too. I it's like too sugary. Mm -hmm. Is it in the south they drink? Yes, it's called the Dr. Reed at Trevecchi used to yeah. call it the nectar, the nectar of, the, of the South. Sweet and iced tea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. By the way, he was a great man. He was. I really enjoyed the ministry of Dr. Reed. He's yeah. with the Lord now too. I know. He was mm -hmm. great. Mm -hmm. And his wife. He was also. president at Trevecca when we went down there and I yeah. I taught at Trevecca while he was still there. He was a great man. Yeah. So we're gonna to talk to you a little bit today about this verse because Ruth and I have been talking about the importance that prayer has played in our lives mm -hmm. and we we've been able to see so many times in our lives where God has guided us mm -hmm. we haven't known it's been God at the time mm -hmm. uh, but God's definitely uh, when you pray and you commit yourself to him uh, God does things and he works in people's lives and in situations and that's why it says here this verse Psalm 27 verse 37, right? sorry 37 verse 5 Commit your way to the Lord. That's mm -hmm. basically praying. Right. You know, committing it. You know, Lord, this is my life. Mm -hmm. This is who I am. This is my situation. This is what I'm going through. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust in Him. Right. It says, so you commit, you trust, and then it says, and He will act. See, it's a choice. Isn't yeah. it? It honestly is a choice. Even though we say we follow the Lord and everything, we still have to choose to commit our way to Him. It's not just yeah. an automatically assumed thing. Oh, I don't have to worry about that anymore. Because as, as human beings, we have such an ego yeah. that wants to take over stuff and wants to do it our way. And we don't think about God a lot of times and committing our way to the Lord because we're just rushing out doing whatever we're doing. But it's the choice to say, you know what, Lord, I'm going to commit this to you because I need you to direct my path. Yeah, because there's so many difficult me. choices. When I think about our lives, mm -hmm. uh, there's been so many difficult choices. You know, a lot of times you have lots of different pathways open to you. Right. This pathway, this pathway, this pathway, that pathway. And any one pathway leads to certain outcomes. Mm -hmm. And so how do we know? what road to take but when we commit it to the lord he yeah. acts is what the scripture says right yeah. he directs our path and he shows us what to even do. in our relationship do you remember that time that we went through we've been dating for mm, might have been 18 months at that mm -hmm. point and we were really kind of starry eyed over each other and everything <laughs> else but then at one point we just stopped and we said we really need to pray about this if mm -hmm. this is something that that's for you and that's for me not that we didn't want it because we definitely want it to be together but i remember we said no let's really pray and see if this is something that we feel god wants for both of us because it really came strong and it was a horrible time to be honest it was like well because we knew what we wanted ourselves right yeah but it came strongly to me goodness i don't want to ruin this guy's life Vice versa. and i don't want to ruin yeah. my own life 
And, and it can happen when you choose to be with the wrong person. Yeah. yeah, your life can get ruined, their life can get ruined. And that was a huge weight on me. I thought, no, I need to know if this is a God thing. Yeah. And I think there's a big thing in, willing to be, uh, in being willing to give something up that you want in order to do what God wants. Because then God can show you, I think when God can then show you what he wants. Mm -hmm. But sometimes we hold on to what I want mm -hmm. so strongly mm -hmm. that we're saying, Lord, God, no matter what right. you want, this is what my we choice is. We don't give is. God a chance. And yet God... Us. And the pr thing is, God knows the end from the beginning. Oh, yeah. He knows what your life, he has the overview, he has mm -hmm. the big picture of, of our lives. So he knows what kind of decisions are going to lead to certain outcomes. Mm -hmm. And some of those outcomes might not be good right. for us. So that's, it's hard though. It's very hard because, you know, you wonder, is my mind, um, is my mind playing tricks on me? Am I really sincere about this? Mm -hmm. But that's the whole point of saying, committing, Lord, I want to do what you want me to do. Uh, I would like to do this, but what is it that you want me to do? Mm -hmm. And to be willing, yeah, to be willing to to not do what I want to do. Like, I remember praying that prayer. Yeah. And it's funny what you say to God, isn't it? I'm saying to the Lord, Lord, I really like this guy. I'm in love with him. Like, God didn't know that already. Um, but then I'm saying, but Lord... It's nice to hear that, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> but Lord, is this your will for me yeah. is this something that i should do or something that really and I, I remember saying to the lord lord i'm willing to not continue with this guy if this yeah. is not of you because i don't want to go down that road and i remember we both committed to each other to wait until we both felt like god had spoken to us and it was a different time for each of us but god had confirmed to each of us yes yeah. this is the way you should go forward right and then you know what? Here's the other thing. Lots of times we've, we've you know, over the years, if you fight and argue and stuff, we've always tried to make sure we pray about it because here's the thing. Yeah. We always go back to the Lord and say, yeah. Lord, you told us this was the right thing. And right now yeah, yeah. We're, not, we're not getting it together. Please help us and show us the way forward. So it's like having... The presence of God as that other piece, that other person yeah. in your relationship that can mediate, can open your mind, can open my mind to each other because he's on our side and right. he led us. And we were very young, but we didn't want to jump into anything mm -hmm. too quick because, you know, let's face it, as human beings, some of us are more prone to others to making really snap decisions, mm -hmm. quick decisions doing things far too fast and other people are not they take actually too long <laughs> they're just like waiting to decide. they can't decide yeah. because they're always very highly optional thinking mm -hmm. well maybe it's this door this door this door this door and then they mm -hmm. find it difficult to make their mind up mm -hmm. so there's a whole range of personalities that we have but god can lead any personality and like you were saying god knows the end from the beginning he already knows like we've talked on these chill pills before how Guess what? God already knew about this virus long before we did. It, it hit us all by surprise, but he already knew about it. Yeah. And that's the same way with our lives in general. Like We can trust him because the Bible says he's already there. He's already back here. He's, already, he's the end and the beginning. Yeah. He is everything. So we can go to him and say, Lord, I'm confused. I don't know what to do. And you know what? In my life as a missionary kid, I grew up and, and my parents never had a salary or anything it was always they lived by faith i remember as a kid us all sitting down and saying kids we need to pray right now because we have no food or we don't have any money for for gas and we've got all these meetings coming up and we've got to get out and we need the lord to help us and i remember growing up with that reality just saying yeah. lord please and you know what the thing was my dad and mom would always remind us yeah. Hey guys, remember we prayed for this? It's here. God mm -hmm. provided. And yeah. they always stopped and, and helped us God say thank you to God. That's yeah. important. So God can be like yeah. the provider of very real things in our lives too. And, and I'm, I'm thinking too, while we're still talking about this subject, what does a person, what do you think a person should do if they've realized they've made a bad decision, mm -hmm. which we all have? I mean, this is, let's face it, everybody makes bad decisions at some point. You mm -hmm. think you're making a good decision, but it turns out it's not a good decision. Mm -hmm. So what do you do if you find yourself, you know, 
after the decision's been made, you've made a bad decision, whatever that is, what can you do? I think that because... I'm not just talking, I'm not talking, it could be anything now. It could no, be I about know, a job a or a relationship or, yeah. or a choice to go live.